Hey guys, it's Will. It's Mike. Welcome to the First Watch, the show that's part review, part reaction. Today we're talking about Triple Threat. I'm really fucking excited about this movie. I was really excited to get it. Uh, I missed seeing it in theaters. I can't remember exactly why. I was in the theaters for one day. Um, and I was busy that weekend. I was unable to see it, and I was super bummed. And um, so I pre-ordered the Blu-ray, which we now have here. It's distributed by Wellgo USA, who does tons and tons of Asian action film stuff from... Um, China, Hong Kong, uh, South Korea, um, that kind of stuff. Yep. This is actually uh, like a, an international production that involves. Uh, so the cast oh, here is cast insane. Is it is insane. If you're a fan of like action movies, martial arts movies, any of these kind of, uh, I guess, straight to DVD, straight to Blu-ray, uh, smaller scale uh, fighting action movies, it has some of the biggest stars from those movies in them all together. It's so really it's cool. Tony, so the, one of the reasons I'm so excited about this movie is I am a huge Tony Ja fan and I have been since I saw The Protector in theaters and whatever that was, like 2005, 2006, and I just, that movie that. just fucking blew me away. It's like, that movie is probably my favorite all-time martial arts movie. Um, it's got Iko Uwes from The Raid in it. It's got Tiger Chen who uh, is known for a lot of things, but maybe most famously he's Keanu Reeves' as martial arts instructor. So I think he trained him for The Matrix That's and for the John cool. Wick movies and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> Michael Jai White or Jay White? I think it's Michael Jai White, but some so. people think it's Michael Jay White. Correct us if um, we're wrong. If he you was, know. wasn't he in Spawn? Like he's he been around Spawn. for years. He's in Spawn. He's um, in a bunch of. He's in. He's lately been in Arrow. He's in ton of movies. And I've seen a bunch. He I've, was in Skin Trade. If anyone, yeah. so Dolph Lundgren is in that movie, and Tony Jaw is also in that movie. Yeah. Um, and that's a similar kind of like straight to streaming, like hard boiled. Like action thriller that takes place in yeah. Thailand. He's, um, he's in a lot of stuff, though. He, Scott Adkins plays the villain Scott in this Adkins. movie. We Mike, love Scott Adkins. We do. We love a lot of his films. We've seen a lot of his films, so yeah. we love him. Michael Bisping's also in this. Who? Uh, uh, Selena Jade is Selena it? Selena Jade and Michael Bisping's a, a former UFC fighter and actually a champion. So he actually is, is um, a fighter. And yeah. Selena Jade also was actually an Arrow. But all these and, people oh, well, are like amazing martial artists. Jesse right? Johnson directed this movie, which is also we pointed out because we've watched several of his movies recently, including uh, Debt Collector which I really liked. If you haven't seen that movie, you should go really and fun. see it. It's almost like an 80s style, like really violent action. Um, it's, uh, I said 80s too because it, like, but... it's like the plot is really simple. Basically like this guy needs some money to keep his dojo open. He takes a job collecting people's debt. That's and what there you go, right? Debt Collector is about. Yeah, yeah um, Savage Dog. Savage Dog was pretty Which fun. was way more brutal than I expected. His movies are very violent. Um, so... I loved this movie. After all this build-up, we're just telling you who's in it. And what, like <laughs> The plot is very simple. So there's mercenaries, and uh, Tony Ja and Tiger Chen are hired on what they are told is a humanitarian mission, and it turns out that they are going to free a terrorist from MI6 uh, captivity, basically. And so they're they're left for dead in the jungle, and they want to get revenge on these terrorists. And Iko Uwes, who is in the raid, and whose name I might be butchering because I don't speak. They're like mercenaries, Indonesia. right? Yeah, so... They work for... You don't really know who they've worked for. I think. And they it's do like, like underground fighting to make money and stuff like that. So, and then Iko Uwes is a guy who is working for MI6 at this camp and his wife gets murdered. So he wants revenge. And then the Scott Adkins, Michael J. White, Michael Bisping, is that his name? Yeah, Michael Bisping. The three of them work together and they're trying to kidnap the Selena Jade character. So that's how like all yeah. these people end up coming yeah. together. And she's, she's like, uh, I think the way they explain because we watched the, the cast interviews afterwards. And the way they, she explained is, uh, her character grows up in, in England and is really privileged, and she's, I think, the daughter of a diplomat. From and, Hong Kong, yeah, yeah. And she moves back to Hong Kong to try to, like... Listen, this doesn't... So this takes place yeah. in a made-up country. It's filmed in Thailand. So, yeah, so what she does is she moves to this... After being educated and living in Hong Kong for a bit, she decides to move back to this country because to, like, she said she really things, loved right? it, and she is, like, a big part of her upbringing, and they have a big problem with, like, drugs and organized crime. And um, she's trying to, like help that and put money into it so she becomes a target for the triads or, or some criminal organization they hire Scott Atkins Michael J. White Michael Bisping to go and kill so her so basically you get like whatever 30 minutes of setup or 40 minutes of setup and then they all come together then it's just crazy action there's sequences like non-stop there's some really cool gun shootouts there's some co cool car chases there's some cool like hand-to-hand -hand stuff. I mean, obviously the fights yeah. are like, so it, That's what you, you know, for, you get right? like Scott Adkins fighting Tony Ja, you get Michael Jai White fighting Iko Uwes, you get Tiger Chen fighting Michael Bisping, like it's just yeah. fucking awesome. They all fight each other, they all look like they know how to fight because they all pretty much do. They do. 
Um, there's, there's, and there's some really brutal moments in it. Some really brutal deaths. The one we Where? we were talking about the one before uh, we before rewound this. it several times. Yeah, she, it's, it's like when the the mercenaries or whatever she uh, she's not gonna go quietly. So this guy is holding like some like it's a grenade, grenade launcher, launcher, like in her face, and she like raises a gun and he shoots her and just like well she reaches for her pistol and he's yeah. like don't do it and she does it anyway. He just she shoots smiles, her point blank with a goes, grenade launcher and, he just sees, and it's just like a balloon exploding with blood in it like and it's bone so, and guts and it's, it's just so, so over the top and <laughs> but it's awful. awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. That's a bad thing to say, but it is awesome. <laughs> she was a bad guy. She um, deserved it. But, I mean, I think this is the kind of movie that, um, I mean, the, the the release of this was delayed quite a while because it was announced, and then there was kind of a trailer, and then it wasn't really sure when it was coming out. It took them forever to announce the release date, and there were some grumblings that, like, maybe there were some problems in editing or, like, post-production or, like, it, what, the movie wasn't coming together properly or whatever. But this movie is... For, it's like exactly what you would want it to be for what it is and who is in it. And I'm a huge fan of martial arts movies, and we watch a lot of action movies. Yeah. Um, and on both those fronts, nice, nice I little it was blend of both. Real, and it's it's not like we talk about these straight to streaming movies, but I would say that this is a tier above. I mean, it got a theatrical yeah. release yeah. for a day, but it got a theatrical release. No, you but can... I it's I would definitely like a cut above like some of the more rank. <laughs> just, just straight, straight yeah. to streaming movies that um, we've seen. You can tell there's there's obviously a, a, a pretty decent budget to a, get all these stars in it. B, it looks like it was shot on location in Thailand. It's, the right? cinematography the is actually good. pretty cool. Like the lighting, there's a couple scenes with like lots of neon lighting going on. There's a and yeah. there are some character moments that are honestly pretty. Like a lot of times these movies, they'll give you like. Mm tidbits about who the characters are at the beginning so that they're basically these like archetypes that you know from having seen other movies with similar archetypes and then they just throw you into the action and this like the characters have quirks Tony Jaw uh, his character used to be a field cook yeah. so he's always trying to make food for people yeah. and like and he's always it's like asking them like oh well, what would you think about the food like that kind of thing like they, they all yeah. the characters have these little things about them that gives you kind of like more information into their lives than you would typically get in a movie like this, which yeah, I thought I th was really charming. I think the thing I like the most is just the action set pieces. Like there's uh, you know, Celine Jade's character is coming out from, from a talk that she does with Forrest Whitaker of all people. And she's coming out. He was out. in one scene. He was in one scene. And I'm like, I'm like, that guy looks like Forrest Whitaker. And it's like, it is Forrest <laughs> Whitaker. I really love Forrest <laughs> Whitaker. Um, so I was like, okay. And she's coming out and there's like this huge shootout out, out in this public space. There's the the car chases through the crowded streets. There's the foot chases through the crowded. There's streets. There's a scene in a police station that police is insane, station. where these mercenaries rush in, going after and they're her, having yeah. gun battle with the police while Tony John and Tiger Chen are having martial arts fights with the it's mercenaries, just, it's just, and it's, it's just, just like, chaos. Yeah. And then there's obviously the ending where they're all in like an abandoned warehouse type. It's a polo club, club. I yeah. think. Yeah, and they and they have cool fights there. And like you mentioned earlier about the cinematography and the lighting, there's the scene where before the like kind of in the middle where they go and they kind of hide out in the restaurant. Like the shot, there's a shot of like the alley where that restaurant is in, and it's like red and these cool colors. And like, had a to me, I know it had a um, Blade Runner vibe to it. With yeah, so I was almost thinking of like, like Drive, that. yeah, the like Ryan Gosling too, yeah. movie. Yeah, um, it was really cool because it was like it was something different that you wouldn't expect. You'd either expect in a film like this, they're either outside in the sun in the daylight or they're like in some in darkness in right. some kind of like and alley well, there's not the usually like. Right? One of the things that I loved about this movie, and I talk about this a lot when I talk about Hong Kong movies especially, is it's all location photography. And oh, it's yeah. all, like, there's scenes of them going through um, the city uh, in boats. So you yeah. see, like, the city from the river. You see, like, there's that one scene where they're next door to, like, a barber shop, And it's just, like, mm -hmm. you see, like, the life and the... Um, like the people of this city and that adds texture to the movie and also captures like this time and this place that has a very specific and unique feeling yeah. that I think makes the movie a cut above whatever like these movies that they shoot in New Orleans because there's tax credits or in Atlanta or wherever or they shoot these movies where like yeah. they're completely anonymous and they're faking it for New York City or something like that like you really feel what this place is and who these people are and why they're there and it's really and something that Selena Jade said actually there's an interview with the various cast members on the Blu-ray um that I thought was really interesting is one of the things that attracted her to the movie was it's an action movie with that takes place in Asia that has three Asian protagonists. Yeah. Instead of, like, the white guys being the good guys who have to go in and sort some problem out, the, the, the Americans white, are the bad guys. The Americans are the Brits who the bad make guys. the problem, and then the Asian people have, have to, to solve, solve the problem. And, uh, and she was talking about... It's almost about, like a metaphor know, for colonialism. She loved it. She she got to do, like, stunt driving in and all this other cool shit. Yeah, that so she the, apparently the other, director so. came up to her and was like, so you're a better driver than our stunt driver, so you have to do your own stunt driving. <laughs> Can you believe that? She was like, eh, okay. And it's funny, because there's a scene in there where... Uh, 
uh, her character and Tiger Chen are kind of crouching because people are shooting at him by crouching crack. tiger. And and he, yeah, and he's like he's like um, where's the hidden dragon? He's like. I'll navigate and you drive. And she's like, well, you should. And he's like, I don't know how to drive. <laughs> and I'm like, Forgot okay. Yeah, and she's like, fine, I'll drive. And they make some jokes and then they're just driving and she's beasting and going on the sidewalks and stuff. It's it's cool. It's a really It was a really fun movie to watch. Um, I'm not as big a fan of like Tony Jaw as Will is, but I'm a big fan of Scott Atkins, Michael J. White. Uh, actually, I Michael Bisping, like, I, I watched a lot of his UFC fights. I feel fights. like there are very few pleasures in life greater than watching Tony Jaa. That was pretty cool. Just need the shit there out of someone. Some, there, but the fight scenes were really cool. Like, Scott Atkins had a two-on-one where it was Tony Jaa and uh, Iwu against him. Michael J. White had one where it was Tiger him Chen and, and Iwu and, against yeah, him. That, that scene and is nuts. There's just a bunch of cool fight uh, scenes. And also Michael... Mike, I can't, what is Bisping? Michael Bisping, yeah. Like, the, the way that they've set him up in the movie is that he's just like this fucking beast and yeah. he's like punching through walls and shit. <laughs> awesome. He's almost like, who does Vinny Jones play in X-Men? Yeah, uh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut. It's he's like, just... He just I'm the juggernaut, bitch. And he's just going through everything. <laughs> and it's funny because like he, in real life he's not like a huge guy, but he no, just but, looks menacing. Well, there. he fights Tiger Chen, who's like five seven, maybe yeah. five eight. So like there's a <laughs> so and, and, he, and he's like a very like thin kind of like build, and yeah. this other guy's just like there's an actual it's like a rhino. Like a yeah. Dude, yeah. Um so I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun movie. It's you great. should check it out. Check so it out. I mean, this is streaming on um wherever you would find streaming movies, I guess like Prime and where Google Play and places like that. Voodoo, um, bunch, probably, probably other um, it will, well go USA used to put all their stuff on Netflix, but then I, they may have started like their own streaming channel in, in partnership with someone called Haya. I might be making that up, but someone was telling me about that recently. <laughs> well, um, nah, copyright. So well, well go it. USA is the company, and they put out like if you go to Best Buy and you see like recent Asian films, more likely than not, they're the ones who are putting them out. So they put out a ton of awesome shit. So you could check their stuff out. Um, Kill Zone 2, Kill Zone 3, which we're going to do episodes on later. Um, so there you go. So that's Triple Threat. I loved this movie. Yeah. I think Mike liked it too. I liked it quite a bit. Two thumbs up for me. Definitely check it out if you have any interest in any of those actors. He's Siskel and Ebert. Or, or, he gets both, yeah, thumb, he both, gets thumbs, both of the thumbs up. Or if you like just action scenes, fight scenes, kind of those type of movies. And Scott Adkins movies, especially like the, yeah. the closest thing I can think to compare this it's to fun is he's a like bad guy. A classic Scott Adkins movie. He's yeah. very rarely the bad guy. I remember in the first Undisputed that he's in, he's a bad guy. And then this and in, one. Well, and in Ninja 2, he's like, he goes through a bit where he's a kind of a jerk, but yeah. then he comes around. But so, yeah. So it was actually kind of fun. And he said he liked doing it because he could say all the naughty stuff that he normally <laughs> can't say. And it's like, yeah, if I was an actor, I'd want to be the bad guy too. You get to do all the fun shit. Be, I mean, who doesn't want to yeah. be naughty? Good point. <laughs>